Hi everyone, Robert Stewart here for my new project, Science of Survival. Last week I was talking to my friend Alan and we were discussing bug out bags and he asked me about candles um, and where to get beeswax candles. So I, I said, well, why did you need a beeswax candles? And he said that he had heard that beeswax candles burn hotter and burn longer than your standard candles. So I thought, well, perfect opportunity for an experiment. So what we're going to do is we're going to go get a beeswax candle, a tea light candle, and put it up against a regular tea light candle uh, just from Walmart or your dollar store, and we're going to put them head to head to see if the beeswax burns hotter and burns longer, and then what we're going to do is we're going to share the results with you. So please I'm on my way to Dancing Bees Apiaries in Port Hope, Ontario to pick up some beeswax to make some candles to test out to see if beeswax candles actually burn hotter than standard uh, or regular everyday paraffin wax candles. Uh, this being that if it burns hotter it would be a better survival candle in an emergency situation. So we're going to test that out today. So we're just on a little bit of a road trip. So here I am at Dancing Bees Apiaries in Port Hope, Ontario, where I picked up a pound of beeswax. And what they already had already pre-made is the tea lights. So when we get back, we're gonna try these tea lights out. We're gonna test them against the regular paraffin wax to see if beeswax candles actually burn hotter, but we're also gonna test out to see if they burn longer. Now, I've got the beeswax candle and I've got your standard paraffin wax tea light. So there are both about the same size. One's a hair a bit bigger. But what we're going to do now is we're going to test out to see if the beeswax actually burns hotter than the paraffin. But we're also going to do a burn test to see how long these will actually burn. So I'm not going to leave the camera going for the full two hours. But first we're going to do the temperature test and then we're going to do the uh, length of time test. So now we're just going to light the candles. I'm going to first light the paraffin wax candle just as your standard tea light and then the beeswax there we go and what we're going to do is we're going to let that burn for a few minutes and then what we'll do is we'll take a temperature reading now that the candles have been burning for a few minutes we're going to take the temperature te test with the infrared thermometer so here we go. So we're going to take a temperature of the beeswax candle first. Right, just the base of the wick. 138.5. And for the paraffin candle, 109.5. Wow. Wow, almost 30 degrees difference. Let's do that again, just double check. Paraffin wax candle. 108.5. And the beeswax candle. 141. Point. So it's staying fairly consistent within a couple degrees, but wow, what a, what a, what a difference in temperature. Almost 30 degrees. Uh, wow, that's unbelievable. I didn't think it was going to be that high. Anyways, um, so there you have it. We know that the beeswax candle definitely uh, burns warmer, which is great in a survival situation where you want more heat. Uh, if you're cooking something, it would take less time to boil. To the time test where we will test to see which candle burns out, burns out quicker and which one will uh, stay lit longer. And supposedly beeswax is, again, is supposed to last longer than the paraffin wax, but I guess we will find out. So we'll check in with this in a, in a little bit. And now for your viewing pleasure as we wait, Robert Studer tries to juggle. We 
have a winner for the longest burning candle. That would be the regular tea lights. Uh, the beeswax one's just barely hanging on. I don't think that it's going to come back. But um, then again, it, it looks pretty close. I think you maybe get about another half hour to an hour tops out of the tea light with what's looking like it's left in the uh, bottom of the cup. Now, with this experiment, uh, we learned a couple things. Yes, uh, beeswax candles do burn hotter. Uh, they don't necessarily burn longer. So uh, we kind of answered both those questions. Now, tea lights are great to have in your car in the winter uh, for an emergency situation where you have no heat and you don't want to have the car running because of exhaust issues. But if you have a little candle, you can keep yourself warm. And usually you have it in a little uh, tuna can or something that you can put it in so that uh, it's safe to burn. Now, if you want that extra little bit of heat, get your beeswax candles. Now they are harder to find. You can't get these at Walmart. Uh, they're uh, usually, uh, you can get them at Michael's I believe and a couple other stores. I got uh, this one pound of beeswax at Dancing Bees Apiaries in Port Hope uh, as I showed you and I'm gonna be making extra candles for that uh, so I can put the, the, them in my car, the little tea lights, uh, to give that extra little bit of heat. Well, the experiment is over. We did the experiments. We put it through uh, the two candles through the tests uh, to see which burned hotter and which burned longer. And the beeswax candle, I was quite surprised, actually burned hotter, almost 30 degrees hotter than the regular paraffin wax uh, candle. That's great if you want to heat yourself up in an emergency situation by using the warmth of a candle or even cook something you reach that boiling point uh, that much quicker uh, now in regards to the length of time that they burnt the paraffin wax it just edged out the uh, the beeswax just barely uh, I'd give the edge to the paraffin wax one by about a half an hour to an hour in burn length so uh, that's good but now we come down to cost uh, for the price of one beeswax, beeswax candle, you can get 16 of your regular candles. So uh, cost-wise, is it worth it? Is it worth uh, paying a dollar for, say, one beeswax candle that, that 16 other candles uh, can do? Probably not. Uh, it'd be better to just have the 16 candles. But it was a worthwhile experiment. I, I was very intrigued when Alan approached me to uh, to, to do this and he uh, and he told me that this was the case and I'm just glad that I could uh, get down to the bottom of it actually test it out and come uh, this with is Robert Studer from Science of Survival thank you for watching we'll see you next time